Hello Libra, welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. We're going to jump right into the messages for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Libra. As always, keep in mind that these are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. If you're interested in a personal one-to-one -one reading with me, you can book that through my website, which is bethechange333.com. All right, Libra, let's dive in. Let's see what message wants to come through for you. A lot of energy uh, swirling around in the atmosphere right now uh, that I'm feeling. We have time lapse. We have telepathy. Hmm. Very interesting. Wow, okay. We have messages from your guides. So Libra, hmm, it seems as though you're having exp an experience or have had an experience where you may have um, kind of lost track of time or are having a hard time keeping track of time. Time is speeding up or it's slowing down. You find yourself asking, what day is it? What year is it? What's going on? Because you're being <laughs> upgraded, let's say, energetically. Uh, also, you are tel telepathically picking up on communications and information from the collective conscious stream that we're all connected to. So you may f have experiences of um, picking up on someone's thoughts, their energy, or even if you're just thinking of someone and then suddenly they call you or like you're thinking of someone with um, a certain, uh, you know, saying or something and they call you and they say that. And it's like, whoa, okay, I was just thinking that. <sighs> Tune into that a little deeper because there are messages in between the lines and in these telepathic communications that you're picking up that are from your guides that are assisting you through this period of time that seems and feels like a very strange time lapse or time warp. What is also happening, um, we are kind of brushing over and re-experiencing or recognizing our own limiting beliefs, our conditioning and our programming from family, from social upbringing and conditioning, and um, these experiences are sort of washing away all that you thought you knew or what you had been programmed or conditioned to believe. Yeah, things are changing fast. Okay. Could be going through a bit of a, um, we'll just call it a growth spurt energetically. Maybe having certain activations within your psychic energy. Tell me about time lapse for Libra, please. Thank you. The wheel. The wheel speaks of cycles, especially karmic cycles. 
cycles beginning, cycles ending, coming around and around to revisit or re-experience or learn something new from a, 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 a almost like deja vu, like repeating something, but you're experiencing it or you're perceiving it in a new way. That is growth. Time lapse. It could feel like a time lapse. But truly, it is part of our evolutionary process at this time. So you're exactly where you need to be. Mm-hmm. Exactly where you need to be. And that's in the spotlight of your own life right now. Overcoming some big things here. Some, uh, this is a card of victory. Achieving something. Maybe understanding that I am telepathically communicating with other, with my guides, <laughs> with um, spirit. Without messages from your guides. Thank you. Mm. Okay. And not only are the messages that you're receiving from your guides coming through loud and clear, you're also starting to feel uh, more confident, bold. Your sense of adventure is... Um, wide open you're ready for whatever life is bringing you next and you're getting excited about it that's good you're sensing great change on the horizon for yourself uh and again overall limiting beliefs conditioning and programming with the seven of swords and the devil Learning from um, past experiences that may have seemed a bit deceiving, may have seemed sneaky, you or another person. You're learning, you're growing, and you're growing out of this. Old, antiquated belief system that you grew up in, that you are surrounded by. We all are surrounded by conditioned and programming. It's everywhere. Ask anybody who is um, in marketing. They know. They know how to get through to people. How to program. And this keeps us in a very limited space. I think you're breaking free from that. Two of swords. All right, so you're kind of still in the midst of this time lapse here. Maybe the cycle hasn't fully shifted yet. We have the two of swords, which speaks of, co too many, speaks of conflicting beliefs, two very strong beliefs in the mind. They contradict each other. So it leaves you sort of at a crossroads or a stalemate. Can't really decide. I don't know what's true. I don't know what to believe. And you're sitting under the light of the moon. So things are not fully illuminated to you yet. Okay. It is really hard to fully unprogram ourselves and um, live more authentic from our intuitive senses and, and using discernment and what feels right. However, okay, you're learning. Prince of Swords, now you want to understand more. You want to understand more, uh, we've got the Two of Cups there, which also could speak of maybe having some sort of telepathic dialogue with um, a loved one. 
somebody either on the other side or somebody here on uh, still alive. But suddenly it's like, I gotta understand this more. I wanna learn. I, 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 your interest is definitely peaked. He's holding on to a book. He may even be, and there's a there's a falcon or a hawk peering over his shoulder, which is really assisting this this person or you in um, seeing life and seeing things from a bird's eye view, from a higher perspective. Interesting. And a new perspective at that. One you probably, um, it's one of those aha moments like, oh, this makes sense. This makes total sense. The tower. Ooh. Prince of Wands. So, whatever is coming through to you now as far as messages from your guides, telepathic communication, what's got you ready for something new, a new sense of adventure in life. It really had to um, first remove or take apart, undo all that was old and built on a faulty foundation that created these limiting beliefs and programmed ways of being. So something is just like coming apart. Yeah, you, know, you look out at the world, it's like, wow, what is going on? <laughs> A lot of truth is being revealed. Things that we can't deny. Overall, Prince of Wands, so um, that's good. But the sun below it, we're speaking of um, having the courage and the strength and the tenacity to um, continue on this new adventure, this, uh, this new way of, of living, of perceiving. Something, something very new as the cycle is closing out for you. So, and it could really have to do with a connection to another person, whether they're here on earth or on the other side. Doesn't really matter. We're going to get you one last message, Libra, from the secret language of the animals and some advice. Oops. So if you are liking this video so far, Libra, please don't forget to click the like button below this video. I appreciate all of you who do take the time to do that. It really does help with the algorithms. It helps with the channel's growth. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And feel free to comment. I do love to read all of your comments. So, Libra. Advice for Libra, please. Yeah, something that seemed either deceiving or mysterious is suddenly making more sense. Maybe you had been deceiving yourself with these limiting beliefs, conditioned mind, and that's a realization that you're having. Thank you. All right, and we have the condor which speaks of cycles, reflection, perspective, release. Yeah, you are breaking through a really big cycle here, karmic cycle. There's great change here. <clears throat> Condor circles high in silence calling you to new heights of personal awareness and deep connected connection to the natural cycles and rhythms of life. As a sensitive leader tuned into subtle current, currents of existence, Condor brings you the gift of patience, perspective, and vision 
she offers her deep understanding of the importance of change to allow the greater picture of your life to unfold. Following nature's cycles, together you see, the cha you see that change is constant and not to be feared, but rather embraced. Each piece of your story can be lovingly honored for the gift it brings before it is released back into the greater circle of creation. Now is a powerful time for you to honor the need for quiet solitude and open yourself to the positive power of change. Take yourself to the high mountain and pray. Allow the rising thermals to clear away the energy of your daily life and give you a chance to see the greater picture unfolding before you. Examine your life from an elevated view and you will know in your heart what now needs focus for the path of your future self and what parts of your journey are now coming to an end. Honor each for the role it has played and be grateful for this opportunity to lovingly let it go. Open your heart to the new and allow the universe to deliver your needs to you in unexpected ways. You need not chase or hunt. Now is a time for receiving and making the very most of what is already before and within you. What resources and opportunities are already here, ready to be honored and brought to fruition? So, wow. Definitely, you want to honor this this point in, in your life, in your journey, because there's a lot of great things that are changing. And um, you are becoming much, much, much more aware of... Um, what that is for you. So I hope that you found this to be helpful for you, Libra. I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.